Hey, it's Corey Stoker here from SkySwitch. I'm going to be briefly explaining webhooks in this video, and it's meant to give you a basic understanding of how you can use webhooks in relation to voice over IP. Now, webhooks are pretty amazing. You can definitely use webhooks to impress your clients, differentiate yourself from the competition, especially the big guys, because they simply can't do things on this granular type level. And they're only really limited by your imagination. There's so much you can do. If you are a developer, great. Uh, you could probably do a little bit more. Well, you can definitely do a little bit more if you have the web development uh, background. But the wonderful part about webhooks and just what's available out there on the internet today is you really don't need to be a developer. You can use things like ifttt.com and that stands for if this then that uh, or Zapier. I use both applications but I find myself using IFTTT more for home use and Zapier a little bit more for business use. All right let's talk about what a webhook is. If you go with the Wikipedia definition a webhook in web development is a method of augmenting or altering the behavior of a web page or web application with custom callbacks. Now simplified, a webhook is just a part of an application that is waiting for a URL to be accessed to perform some sort of action. Typically this is done by sending a post request. Depending on the application that you are using, you may be able to use additional data from the HTTP post request. So the concept of a webhook is fairly simple. We're just accessing a URL. The question is, how do you automatically generate the HTTP request to access the URL? In my opinion, the easiest way you can get started sending webhooks is with action URLs. Action URLs are found in the GUI or configuration of most VoIP phones, and you can typically define action URLs based on the individual actions of a phone. For example, when you answer a call on your phone, the phone can be configured to send a request to your webhook. So one pretty neat thing about action URLs is it doesn't really matter what type of phone you're using. They have different functionality as far as what they can do to trigger a URL notification or send that action URL, but pretty much every major brand of voice over IP phone supports action URLs. And I have the four different phones I have set up on my desk pulled up here in a web browser, and I'm just going to log into the GUI of each of these phones very quickly and show you where you can find these settings. Now obviously you would probably want to do this with auto configuration but as most things I think looking in the GUI gives you a better idea. So in Yealink we went under features and action URL and then everything here can trigger this action URL. Under Grand Stream, this is the new GRP 2616. It's going to be under settings, outbound notification, and action URL. And this has quite a few settings as well as far as what you can do to trigger one of these action URLs. On SNOME, it's going to be pretty clear and plain in the action URL settings here. And on Polycom, We go to settings and applications. It's right up at the top here under telephone event notification. So let's talk about what we can do with this. On my desk, uh, I'll switch cameras here, you can see I have two lamps on my desk and these are Philips Hue lights uh, in each one of these. They're color Philips Hue lights. And this is the kind of stuff that I simply love to do at home. So. We are going to use IFTTT in this case. In another example, I'll do a Zapier video. But in this case, we're going to use IFTTT to act as an intermediary party and make the lights change color. So how do we do this? This is, this is going to be pretty cool. Now, I already have a, an account, uh, a home account. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to sign up for a new account just so you can see the whole process it 
it's asking to connect Google. We're just going to skip over this. Okay, so first we're going to go to create. Now, this is a, a really simple application. Uh, if this, then that. We're going to set up a trigger, which is the this part, and then it's going to do something uh, with that trigger. So for this, we're going to use webhooks. Now, actually before that, let me just scroll through so you can see how many different things there are here. Now, I feel like IFTTT is definitely more uh, for the consumer, but you can use this for so many different things. I'm gonna go into webhooks and connect uh, so that just basically set up a webhook type account for me, and I'm going to receive a request. We'll call this missed call 4604. So this is what is going to be in the URL. This is what IFTTT is going to look for in the URL to determine that it's this application that we're hitting. It's this trigger. So we have the if now this is a little webhook logo. Then we go to the that. And for this, I'm going to go to Hue. And I have to connect my Philips Hue account. So I'm just going to say that I do trust IFTTT. And we're going to change a color. So it's going to pull up my lights and we named the smaller one little lamp. So color value or name, let's make this just blue. I guess you can go with CSS hex codes if you want a specific color, but just keep this pretty simple. So now uh, we have this set up. Uh, I don't want notifications. This is to send notifications to your cell phone, uh, to your actual app. Maybe useful for other situations, but not right here. So we have if maker event missed call 4604, then change color on little lamp. So I'm going to now go to my services and webhooks. We need to get the actual URL. Uh, and that's going to be under documentation. So we have the URL here, and you have one with a private key once you sign up for this, or an individualized key. I guess private key is not really the right word, and the event. So this, along with missed call 4604. Uh, and if we want to try this out, we can just simply throw this in uh, terminal. And, and do a curl request or command prompt if you are on Windows. But I'm pretty confident this will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my Yay link. And then I'm gonna go to action URL. Oh, gotta log in again. And we're gonna make this missed call. So where is the missed call? There we go. So confirm. Okay, so now when I do miss a call on my Yay link, the Yay link is going to send a request to this URL. And that's going to go to IFTTT, obviously. IFTTT is then going to alert Philips Hue to change the color of my lamp. So let's try this out. Uh, let me grab my cell phone and I will just call my direct DID. ringing and there we go we just went blue not sure how well you can see that on this video maybe if I turn off some lights that might help okay so back to the computer we're gonna do some other stuff with these lights and this is gonna be pretty cool a long time ago I worked in an office where there was this guy who would just walk into my office and start talking usually I'm on the phone uh, same as as pretty much every job I've ever had I'm on the phone all day 
every day and this guy would just walk in and start talking out of nowhere and he really needed some kind of visual indicator to leave me alone uh, <laughs> and we could totally do that with this application so let's make it happen okay so we'll simply go back over to IFTTT again and we're going to create a new application or a new IFTTT uh, go back to webhooks and we'll name this off hook because Yealink has an off hook event so we'll make this pretty much like a BLF just for my phone and we'll go to hue we'll change color again select a little lamp and we're gonna make this red don't want notifications and we're going to click on finish okay so we have an off hook going red now obviously we want to not only go red because we only have red and blue we need another action for when i go back on hook when i hang the, the phone back up so let's create another one we'll go under create if webhooks on hook on hue we'll make the little lamp green we should have a, a really useful lamp this should be extremely useful people will be able to see when I'm on the phone people will see when I'm off the phone and I'll know just from walking in the room if I missed a call while I was out of the room. So let's finish this and from the Yealink interface we're gonna go off hook and I just need to replace this part of the URL. course I need to log in again uh, so confirm okay so we should be good to go here let's try this out this is hopefully going to be pretty cool all right I'm on the phone let's hang it up and I am off the phone. So now we have a pretty much a functioning BLF and you can put this outside of your office. You could uh, have it on your desk like I have here. And this video was really just meant to be a basic example of what you can achieve with action URLs and webhooks. We're gonna do a lot more with webhooks in future videos. Uh, I'll do some with Zapier and then I'll do another video with Twilio and kind of expand on my previous Twilio video on how you can use webhooks there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't used action URLs before, hopefully this inspired you to want to go try them out yourself. Thanks again.